Hi everyone and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. This month, in honor of Fred and George Weasley's birthday, we are going to try out their recipe for Tun Tung Toffee. We know from the books that Tung Tung Toffee is imbued with the power of the engorgement charm and once eaten makes the eater's tongue swell to at least four feet long. It can also take on a purplish hue. While our Tung Tung Toffee is not going to work quite the same, it will look, smell, and taste delicious and it will definitely turn your mouth colors when you eat it. For this activity, we will be using the stove and oven, so make sure you have an adult's permission or one there to help you. So let's get started. The ingredients we need for this are graham crackers, one cup of brown sugar, two sticks of butter, one cup chopped pecans, and several bars of chocolate. I'm going to use a mix of milk and dark chocolate. You could also use chocolate chips. We'll also need our secret ingredient, which is food coloring. What I'm using is a gel-based food coloring. This one is purple and I will probably use pink too. You are also going to need a nine by 13 baking dish or pan, cooking spray, a saucepan, and a couple of spatulas. First off, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees and prepare our baking pan by spraying the bottom with cooking spray. Next, we'll line the bottom of the pan with graham crackers. And we'll have to break a few to fill in the gaps. Now we'll set that aside and start working on the toffee layer. We're going to use our saucepan and cook over medium to medium high heat. The first thing we need to do is melt the butter. Once the butter is melted, we will add in the brown sugar. and then the pecans. Now we'll stir until it is completely mixed together. We want to bring this to a boil and let it boil for five minutes while stirring often. And now we'll pour the toffee mixture over the top of the graham crackers and spread it out to cover. Next, we'll bake this for seven minutes. While it's baking, we'll start prepping the chocolate. I'm going to break these Hershey bars I'm using into pieces. If you're using chocolate chips, you're all set for this step. After the seven minutes are up, we'll remove the toffee from the oven and now it's time to apply our food coloring. I'm just going to squeeze some purple out all over and then repeat with some pink. Now we'll start adding our chocolate to the top. I'm going to arrange my pieces in an alternating pattern. If you're using chocolate chips, just sprinkle them all across the top and just make sure to get good coverage. Once the chocolate is in place, I'm going to cover the dish with aluminum foil for about 10 minutes to give the chocolate time to melt. Now I'll take my spatula and spread the chocolate. And for our last festive but optional step, I'm going to add sprinkles. It is for the Weasley twins birthday after all. Once you have it decorated to your liking, you'll go ahead and place this in the refrigerator and let it cool. Don't try to cut it until the chocolate has hardened on the top. You can also let it cool on the countertop, but it will take much, much longer. Now for the fun part, let's get people to try our toffee and see what happens. I think that worked out perfectly, and it tasted good too. If you tried this one at home, let us know in the comments and tell us how it turned out. <laughs> 